Hey guys, welcome back to the next video. And uh, in this video, I will tell you the ClickSense architecture. And as you can see here, we have three different layers within the ClickSense architecture at a high level. So first layer is the data access layer. Second layer is the application layer. And third layer is the presentation layer. So first access, which is data access layer, and as the name suggests, is helpful in getting the data from various sources. For example, if you have a text delimited file or a CSV comma separated file or any Excel file or any database or cloud resources, even, you know, some big data uh, like Hadoop, Cloudera and all, uh, you can actually have uh, the connectors so you have these connectors available on the click website you know apart from the regular one like the Excel databases and all and you can get data from these various sources to bring it in the click sense so that's what where you know first layer comes into the picture second layer is the application layer where mostly your administrators and uh, the, the data architects or people who are responsible for producing the right data modeling which is kind of a heart for your ClickSense application will gonna do the work which requires a lot of scripting so in the application layer um, as I said administrator will going to manage the application and there is like QMC which click view management console which helps doing a lot of tasks like uh, scheduling uh, publishing the application and uh, allowing the interaction for the end user uh, by creating sessions and all all of these tasks are kind of managed by the administrator and those who are involved into scripting the data modeling are the data architect for the click sense application will going to work on the uh, on the application layer specifically for uh, data preparation for the front end now the presentation layer two types of users comes into the picture first is your um, your designers who will going to design the presentation uh, by creating different types of charts matrix filters etc which will be consumed by the end user and that is your second type of user that will be accessing the presentation layer because whatever designer is creating that means charts matrix uh, filters and all will be consumed by the end user and they will just look up the presentation layer and uh, get access to all of those different types of charts so that is at a high level your a very very high level your click sense architecture i know there are a lot of different things uh, if somebody wants to go deep down but if you are just trying to understand from a developer point of view and not from the administrator point of view because administrator will have to really go deep down uh, into into pretty much everything right because they need to make sure that data access layer is working fine on the server application layer is working fine presentation layer is working fine but as a developer you just need to have an understanding uh, about uh, the, a superficial idea about what these three different layers are because sometimes even in the interview somebody will ask the question so at the high level uh, to give an answer within two minutes, you should know uh, what are these three different layers and at a high level what these basically do. So this, this is what basically I wanted to give you an idea about the uh, three different layers which is present in the click sense and we will be interacting a lot with all of three different layers because we will be accessing the data we will be creating the model ma massaging the data and doing some etl things and finally we will prepare the presentation so don't worry about it we will access all of these three things and see it in action so stay tuned for next videos and if you like the video well go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe the channel for getting all of these videos directly in your smartphone or in your email